Impersonating me again, Melina. Fool, I am Katana. Your charade ends now. Round one, fight. Hey guys, I'm back. We're going against Invasion Boss Katana here. My fan is on, so the audio might be weird, but as long as I keep talking. Never stop talking. Then, uh... Then it won't sound too bad, hopefully. Um... This is my second time recording this. It's, it doesn't really make much sense to do an aborted recording. Like, I went over 15 minutes, obviously. And my commentary made no sense. I didn't hear the first part, so I'm just gonna go again. But, uh, last time I was going against Mournful Katana, which is Katana's worst variation, and her weirdest variation, which makes her viable because no one knows how to fight against her, but she's not, not a very reliable character. MIT actually pulled out Mournful Katana at uh, Summer Jam yesterday. Yesterday or the day before, so that was interesting, but... It didn't really seem to work out for him, even though the character's strong. Well, the character's okay, and no one knows how to fight her. But we're going against Assassin here. Assassin is Katana's second best variation. Assassin is not bad, and actually has reasons to burn meter consistently, which I guess Royal Storm does now with the buffs, but... But, uh, Assassin has, like, uh, a way to buff up there. That walk, that attack she just did, uh, whatever it's called, Assassin Run, something like that. And if you do EX with that, it's 19% damage, so it's a pretty good combo ender, naturally. But, uh, you can also buff different moves, and if you buff it with EX, it comes out much faster, that move right there. So, you see she has red eyes, that means, uh, her next specific fan using attack will do more damage. But it's hard to actually do the the raw buff without just getting blown up, so you have to do the EX one against good players. I'm gonna go for the butt bomb, but she didn't wake up fast enough. If you're curious, I did manage to make it to uh, Grandmaster in the Street Fighter V beta, playing as Kami. There aren't very many Kamis in general that are at Grandmaster. There's plenty of Ryu, Nash, and Bison, and a decent number of Chuns, and a few Birdies, but I've never seen a, uh, a Grandmaster Kami. The, the reason for this is just because Kami... People, people that play Kami tend to just do a ton of unsafe stuff, like spiral arrows for no reason. And most characters in Street Fighter V aren't unsafe very often, except for Kami. So if you play like that, then you're just going to get blown up. And most people that play attractive looking female characters in video games aren't, aren't very good at games. So they, uh, these th two things compile on top of each other and pretty much every cameo you play is going to suck. But being a cameo that doesn't suck, it gives you a huge advantage because no one's, or almost no one is ready for, for her specific weird shenanigans and like infinite infinite standing resets into stun basically is what she has Excellent. and that's crazy good stuff but <laughs> hardly anyone does it Round one. so I'm proud that I was able to do that because I don't I think I kind of suck at Street Fighter but I definitely beat some pretty good players along the way so today we're moving on to trying to get to rank 5 in Hearthstone and I've switched from Totem Shaman to Freeze Mage so that should be entertaining. Um, when I played uh, Warhammer Online, there's a there's a class called the Witch Elf, and these are basically bikini, bikini clad chicks with invisibility. So a rogue class, except except with no clothes on. So the uh, the people that played Witch Elves, which was a hell of a lot of people, were all all god awful, even the best one was really, really stupid as far as what they did. I mean, he might have had good damage output, but he just made really terrible decisions all the time. And this... The sort of impact of playing an attractive female character in a video game is like a, a counterbalance of a class being or a character being powerful. So, the reason why all the Molinas are terrible in Mortal Kombat, other than most Mortal Kombat terrible players not being very good, 
is because Melina is an attractive female character. Now, I don't think katanas are all that popular, but I'm sure the, the effect, if katana was easy to play, or as easy to play as Melina, then the effect would be the same. So, that's just always something to look out for. If, if A, you can play an attractive female character and not be terrible, that makes you quite impressive. And, and very dangerous. If, and if you notice someone else playing an attractive female character, then they're probably going to be really bad. So it's just a, a fun thing to, to notice and play around with. I'm interested in uh, demographics and so on, and all the little details that, that make these things happen. The machinations of, of stupidity, as it were. But uh, on from my perhaps reviling chat, we're we're back to fighting Katana. She, you see, she's already buffed here, so and I think she did a parry there, but did too late, so it didn't actually hit me. But so even though she was already buffed, she buffed herself again. So there's some solid AI. I actually did press the wrong cancel there, but I boarded it, so it's possible I quote unquote option selected out of that, so that I didn't drop the combo. I'm not sure if that's exactly what happened, but it seemed basically what happened. I don't, I don't have any specific option selects for kat for katana, but I'm sure there's some that exist, or some ubiquitous ones that apply to every character. And you see me doing these fast combos that are easy to pull off, but the main reason why you want to do these is because you're not going to have enough time to do katana's longer combos because they take. Four or five seconds out of the clock every time, and you're doing maybe two percent more damage for that, Excellent. or a little bit more in the corner. But those <laughs> combos are even longer, and we get 168 damage, which is not bad. Round one, fight. I'm gonna be very conservative with the timing here, so we're gonna get, do two more, and then I'll end this video. It'll probably be like 12 minutes, but if it's not, then maybe. Maybe I was closer, maybe my adjustment was correct. You can actually juggle off the uh, the armor break animation in the corner. But uh, I wasn't close enough, so I couldn't pull it off. Alright, so I want to land the x-ray. We were both running towards each other doing nothing. That was interesting. And that's good. Okay. Oh, armored. So this this attack right here is 19% damage, and it can be used as a wake-up, I believe. So it's pretty impressive damage. It's like command grab damage for a move that hits full screen. It's a very unsafe move. Maybe a dangerous move to use, but it's quite powerful and probably Assassin's biggest strength. Excellent. <laughs> Round one, fight! Personally, I don't play exclusively female characters in games. It's just sort of how it worked out in, in most fighting games. In uh, King of Fighters 13, I play Robert. That's my main anchor character and the character I'm the best with. With Mortal Kombat, I wanted to play Kung Lao, but you can't play Kung Lao online. Unless you're like the god of execution that never drops anything with five frames of delay. So, if you can do that, then good for you, but I, I certainly can't. So, so I just switched to Katana because Katana is much easier to play online. And maybe I have a better feel for her character and her very strong zoning capabilities. I tried to do a corner combo there, but just got blown up. That move that she did, the EX bands, is not armored, so if I did a fast move on Wake Up, it would have blown that up. But because I did a slow move, it wasn't wasn't quite there. Excellent. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed my random <laughs> rants and discussions. And we'll move on to some variation of Danny. I guess we'll go with Kobujutsu this time. And see you next time.